What's up guys, this is the Rover Moon and I am back to bring you the next Empire Total the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So to round up where we left off last time, our forces are moving up into Western Persia, ready to push into the Ottoman Empire and also into Russia. Now this will cause problems because we're allied with Russia. And I think we're on pretty good terms. Yeah, we're very friendly with them. Even though they really dislike my my um my expansion. Uh, there's not a lot they can do with it, especially as we've got two armies pushing up. So we're still going to take one, two, three, four, realistically five, five or six turns. So we can still make good gains in the Middle East. Let's have a look at um, Georgia. Georgia's allied with Russia and the Ottomans. So a handy way to do this may actually be... So if I can attack... If I attack Georgia... I might be able to pull in the Russians and the Ottomans at the same time. Which would be very handy. Um, let's hop over to the UK. You're still waiting on your troops. You've got one more turn finished until your, until your um, nave, your steam dry dock is finished. I'm just strengthening our forces here. So if I attack on, if I declare on the Ottomans, I end up going to war with Hanover, which might be a bit sticky because they've got lots of troops right next to my border. And I've got good defences, so I think I'd probably be able to outlast them, but actually declaring on Georgia may be the best opportunity. But let's hit end turn. Let's allow our forces to move up one more time. allow our forces to re to reinforce i see a mine in the middle of stockholm that i need to or the stockholm region i need to upgrade so in the last part we had a big problem with the ottoman intern taking forever it took about eight minutes you look at this how rich they cancel my trade agreement and they demand i buy it back no sorry spain you've sealed your own death warrant Peace with the Prussians. Um, <laughs> I'll say yes because they're allies with the Ottomans. Well, actually, oh, uh, well, if I'm declaring on the the Genoans, not Genoans, the Georgians, this doesn't matter. So I'll just make peace. I could have said no, but let's just make peace. I've got to, no, one Ottoman Ottoman in turn, a freak occurrence. Or because it's pretty quick. It was normal. <laughs> Look at this. No. Refuse. Turn phase. It's really quick. Well, I'll tell you what. If this just don't take the biscuit, it's almost as if they knew. They've declared war on me. Do I call my allies? I mean, I may as well. So who joins them? Does Hanover join them? Dem Poland's joined me. The Russians and the United Provinces have failed to join me. But that relinquished me of my allies. Could, I could now just start offensive operations now. They've failed to uphold their agreement to support me in a war. In theory, be able... I'm not going to... Um, I'm going to invade you now for the wider differing. There we go. Everyone's cracking on. Hanover's not joined them, so they're still... Their border is still um, white. It's not turned red. Well, no one joined the Ottoman Empire. But like I said, I'm hoping that means that the Russians have broken their alliance with me. Because the fact they've not joined me shows that... There is unused land suitable okay, so we've got carronades. Let's upgrade the plantation. So we have carronades. Do you keep going on copper bottoms? I suppose you do. I'm not so bothered about newer artillery tax. We've almost got all of the political tax. I mean, I think you may as well. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> One of our ministers has got a mistress. Yeah, you'll naturally move around yourself. Let's upgrade the port. The whores maxed out their artillery building. See the Stockholm. Can 
upgrade Persia's College of Divinity. So now it is... Yes, yeah, so now I am no longer an ally of Russia. Which is really handy. And let's have a look at Dagestan. I mean, yeah. If I declare on... <laughs> Ooh, if I declared on Dagestan, that might help out a lot as well. So let's move you guys out of here. Yep, and they don't hate it. So if I... Oh, I'm already at war with Dagestan. Okay, well then yeah, raid the university and move on to the capital. You push on and probably just take Yellow Van because that's not a... No, that's not a battle I'm going to fight. And obviously they don't die, they're still alive. This Yellow Van is ours. I would like to send... But can I send just infantry to attack them? And this army will go up to rejoin them, but... Just to kill the... Just to kill those damn... Um, archers. They did manage to kill enough of our troops. You guys re recombine in Azerbaijan. Let's get Niles to go hit Bengal. So apparently I have no access. I want to put Tawny here to try and trick them into fighting a river battle. I can't put them under siege because I guess I'd have to attack. I'd have to attack one of these guys. Hopefully, though, it counts as if I'm on a river. So if they attack me, um, I might be able to just say no. I'm going to fight you on a river. So you guys take up that position. Everyone else is still occupied at the moment. It's a decent enough navy to support itself. You guys shoot off to South America. Okay, so now this army with the 44th Essex is now ready. And these men are going to probably be deployed against Russia. Maybe to sail it down and take Petrovskaya. Or do I sail them through the Med and make them land in Crimea? Or do I sail them to go hit Greece? Or Cairo? Those are also options. Oh my god. Yeah, this is why the AI breaks. It's because it does lots of movements like this with individual units. But yeah, come at me, buddy. Let's see if you want to try it. Okay, everyone's moved up. My spies. You may as well go on to Damascus. You may as well. You are. You should go on to Ankara. So some peace with Prussia. That's more recruitment. That's the troops we've already sorted in the fourth rates we can wait. You've lost trade with the Ottomans, which shouldn't impact us because we're still earning 90 grand a turn. The policies are fine. We've got plenty of cash we haven't got to worry about growing. Good, we can actually tick this. It's only un minus one, so send us a letter of protests and then become happy with it. And we're also starting to tick down their religious unrest, which is very handy. Oh, I was going to give... Who was it? This guy, probably. Oh, you've got your artillery. Well, it looks like we have the startings of a new army here. Um, but I want to hit enter and see what they do around here. <laughs> Our army's trekking through the wilderness. It's still on the move. Okay, you, okay, I've seen the army that was moved up. That was going to get those artillerymen. I just want to see if the Ottomans will attack me, because I'm right in their face, outside Baghdad. So I want to see if they go for it. No, you sold me out. Screw you, Sebo. 
you're done for. You, you're on your own. You enjoy your war against France. And hopefully this might um, ease the burden on Poland, because Poland is a bit fighting. <clears throat> yep, so they're combining these. Are they going to go attack Georgia? Okay, so at least they're combining their stacks. Wherever they're coming from. It's going to be like fighting against India again, isn't it? Although I suspect they don't have the economy to back it up as much as India does. I mean, yes, I want to intercept, but I'm... But do I... Well, the well, trouble is, I do intercept, but I think I ought to resolve against these guys, because this is nothing. Seager. Yep, off he runs. Off he runs. And then off he runs. Good. Please try come at me across the river. Ooh, opportunity to intercept. Why are these guys ranked so highly? No, I'm going to decline the attack because I want to get some replenishment going for my troops. See, at least if you can see what the Ottomans are doing, it means more now. <laughs> at least it doesn't feel like such a drag, which is something at least. So it looks like they are actually going to move up their troops to go and attack Georgia, which you know, I find quite quite funny because they've got a faction ending. Th Do they attack me? No, they attack the small power nearby. Workers on strike, you'll be okay. Let's do some investing just to try and make them or lure them into doing something. Keep upgrading. You guys have met, met up. No, no, you're moving up. <coughs> Let's move this. So I'm going to have two armies to move north. This army here at Yerevan is going to head west and eventually end up fighting these guys and pushing into Ankara. And then they may, may end up sailing over to Crimea, potentially. Oh, we have a new town. Yeah, our 24 Denmark's done. Lots of top tier buildings being built. Which is lovely. Let's upgrade you. Just start upgrading. We've got the cash now where if we can upgrade something we may as well just, just do it. Upgrade the happiness buildings. Upgrade our economic buildings. This place is going to be the economic production I'm putting into these countries is enormous. What's the growth in Persia now? 88 gold a turn. So even though taxes are going up, god damn, enlightenment, 104 <laughs> growth. Ministers are at another 10. So getting more ships. I'm not going to bother deploying them until I've got more visibility on what's going on in. Um, off the coast of Brazil. Let's add some new upgrades in India. Ones that I've missed. Another agent. Okay. Let's just get this agent to sail to Europe. Let's do an infrastructure check. Uh -huh. Moose Factory. God, some of my islands haven't got... Oh, you've got lots of stuff you can upgrade. I suppose they were one of my lesser colonies. I mean, he doesn't even have basic dirt roads. No wonder I couldn't... I was looking at what the best highways are to attack through the region. <laughs> like, oh, there isn't any. I'm not going to build anything here because they're probably just going to get raided by the Ottomans. Scott. 
This army's going to be replenishing and then put Baghdad under siege. Ah, so you do actually get, can call these guys in as reinforcements. I might actually move these guys to this bridge. So if these guys head north again, I can fight a river battle. They're going to blockade the port, but it's going to be a bit symbolic. Oh god, just a whole load of archers. <laughs> that would be beautiful. Yep. Spies keep moving west. You're fully replenishing. You are now replenishing. You guys move on. And improved settlement fortifications. But we're pretty much fine. Let's attack Dagestan. And then the front line with Russia. We will be so devastatingly overpowered. I mean, our armies may end up being a bit too spread out. If I don't take Russia and push west, it might be a bit spread out. If I Say if I've kind of taken Russia and I'm also pushing up through the Balkans, that might be a bit of a problem. So maybe once I take Ankara, um, I don't push into Istanbul yet. Or maybe I just take Istanbul swing in from the east to create more of a cohesive front line. Okay, let's deploy our guns. They might have to tr might have to move up a bit, actually. Or over here is probably yeah. Over here gives them a good enough field of view. Let's just deploy our howitzers. So a piece of advice has been been told to me about deploying them, say here, to fight on the length of this wall. It's a good idea, but most of the time they didn't really deploy in a way that makes that super useful. I mean, I'm sure now they probably will deploy in a way that makes that super useful. Um, so let's take my marines and my storming units, keep them well out of the way. Let's keep our troops here in a bit of a defilade, with our cavalry and our general behind the artillery. Yeah, like now, they it would be, they are it would be useful, but then again, sometimes deploying quick climb against such small units makes is a, feels a bit cheap for me. Damn, like all our houses are dropping round shot, probably on the mortars to try to take them out. Let's use our mortars to knock a second hole in the breach. Let's knock a second hole in the wall. Ultimately, it feels it always feels better to me to knock holes in to knock holes in the wall and then they cluster around a gate. So if you want to drop a quick climb onto them then, it feels so much more effective. Especially when you've got poor quality walls like in these forts. Because man. These are falling quickly. Granted that's a lot of guns fo facing one unit. But still three units of damn. Okay, it's also knocked down the corner section as well. Let's push these battalions in. We should start to see units. Yeah, see so units that were garrisoning this wall are currently abandoning it, ready to cover breaches in the walls. So let's start the marching up. Keep an eye on these mortars, because as soon as they stop firing, our guys need to start running. Okay, aim at this section of the wall instead, then. The more holes in the wall, the more... The more... Either the more they'll spend covering it, or, weirdly, they'll spend no effort covering it. Okay, the mortars are engaging, but they're engaging our companies to the front. Which isn't terrible. Because to be honest, our cavalry can just blitz in right now. So where's the rest of their unit? Okay, some of them are down here. Start dropping rounds onto them. He's 
our 12 pound to start dropping shots on the garrison mortars. Yeah, they're just super effective. So much so, where's my cavalry? So when they make a hole here that's unprotected, that's when we'll make our move. So let's run our infantry. A crewman, and it's enough to... Wait a minute. Johnson! What are you doing? <laughs> Good God, his hat is divine. Oh, he caught me looking at him. <laughs> um, okay, so what I want to do is make a hole in a wall here. And then I will send my cavalry, just some cavalry through to blitz through and hit the mortars at the back. Yep, they know what's up. So they're retargeting, hitting my attack, my assault divisions on the flank. I think they're being shot by missiles. Provincial militia shown. There's garrison the walls. Let's get my marines. You. I want people that can protect the wall. Because to be honest, these guys could probably do this. And this is dangerous. With the wall the way it is. I don't want fusiliers going in. Although to be honest, they could probably get in get in here quite handsomely. It goes to take the wall and we'll pour marines in through the gap. Because for some reason our foot artillery does not want to actually attack this section of the wall. Let's see if they do now. So it's just firing, they are moving. Yeah, only one gun for some reason sees that as a target. What about the actual corner? Okay, now they all like it. Oh no, don't take that building. There we go. Gate is ours. So my marines aren't good at, oh, my fusiliers aren't good in combat. But they don't need to be. Because I want my missiles to charge in. And my heavy cavalry to get involved in the rear. Sepoys are wavering. Are they being hit by mortars? I mean, the, that's pretty darn quick. Ooh. Okay. You guys attack this unit of militia on the walls. Send the Hussars in to take the general's bodyguard and the House of Cavalry can go hit, get involved in the chop-chop combat. It's going to cause a lot of people to die. So you guys support your brothers over on this flank instead. Come on, kill that last gunner. This swine that's killed so many of your brothers. Go help kill the general's bodyguard. Do 
General's dead. I want them to kill the general. So I can take my hussars and just get them to charge into the back of some of these guys. Some of these other combats. Okay, my cavalry just needs to get out of here. My marines need to set up a battle line. To engage their company infantry. Just get my cavalry to hit this line infantry unit in the rear. There we go. Over here I've got plenty of marines so I feel confident about them. They've shot down the rest of the General's Guard. So now they're going to face the second order. All my artillery. Engage! Let's take out these last guys on the wall. They did good. Not their routing. They broke. The city is ours. Sweet. Heroic victory taking bloody siege actually, considering the size of the garrison. 700 men. Let's repair the wall. Let's repair the building, sorry. Let's destroy the university because you probably hate me. Not as much as I thought you would do. Would do. Wait, how can they have a how can they have a garrison but have no no. Well, I suppose because it's probably broken. Huh. Is George... Is that, are the Ottomans actually at war with Georgia? No. Must have military access. Well, it's a good job I've got an army like this guy. Can I declare war on Georgia? Yes. Well, yeah, I can. I've gone through this before. Let's, let's just declare war. Poland might break up with me. <gasps> oh, that's it. We've pushed their buttons now. This is it. It's on. So now these units, they've taken so long. I mean, I can't even sail them. There's no ports on the Caspian Sea for me to just ship them up. But it's on now. So. Torvald. Let's put you on an actual fleet. Aye, aye, Captain. Order I mean, oh, it's, it is tempting. So if I send him up to hit Arkhangelsk, because we've got forces attacking up here anyway, so we'll be able to link up quite quickly. Or to sell them around to hit Athens. I think I might sell them around to hit Athens. Open up another avenue of, of attack against the... Actually, or do I sell them to go around and hit Istanbul specifically? And well, no, actually, I think their better tactic is probably to take somewhere like Cairo. Because Athens puts me too much in this, makes me too exposed from them forcing their attacks on Athens. Istanbul's the same. Whereas if I hit Cairo, I can actually swing in and start taking their cities from the rear. Then they've got a real problem of how they actually respond to me. Then it makes the diplomacy a lot easier now. I'm at war with everyone. Okay, let's hit enter. And let's see what happens. Let's see. Let's see if they attack Finland. France is demanding an alliance. And they demand 72 grand for the privilege. No. Yes. 
you hate me anyway. You're going to hate me even more when I start kicking the Ottomans' ass. You're demanding 16 grand for trade and military alliance. No. Everyone's demanding I pay them for an alliance as though I should feel... As though I should feel grateful or thankful. I'm already at war in a major war. I don't need your assistance now. One thing I didn't actually check was what, how Poland felt about all this. Because I'm still allies with Poland, so Poland might have actually joined me. If Poland has joined me, I'm going to carve out a Polish-Lithuanian empire. If they've joined me. Oh yeah, so they're going to start being sneaky chaps. But this is why you need multiple armies. And I probably need some smaller, you know, half stacks. Just to do mopping up duties and things like that. I think you can see them desperately trying to form proper armies. One at a time. Are going to suffer the consequences. Yep, yeah, here they come. The Russians are going to go steal secrets. <laughs> Classic Russia. I'm, go I'm go probably going to keep it in the back pocket. I could sail an army around to protect the Finland crossing if I need to. So, secular human region that are not some mines. I forgot about these mines. I mentioned them previously. So my still eyes of Poland. Have they joined me? They join me in their war against Georgia, but they're not at war with... They don't have to break their alliance with Russia. Makes a lot of sense. So you... They cedes to Georgia. You... Push up... To here. To cause them... Some cause for concern. You may actually become the first. Ridar Lidstrom. You may become the first of my blocking stacks. I don't want to use any elite troops. Wait. Can I not recruit? Okay, I have to make sure I recruit Colonial Line. Otherwise it will recruit them from somewhere miles away. And then a unit of... You know, heavy cav. There we go. Um, to be honest, I'm quite happy with how, with how this is still laid out. You guys still carry on with your mission to. Oh, God! Still infiltrate. Where's my navy? There it is. So can they go? Can they sail straight into Alexandria? Port up. Boom. They can. <laughs> um. Well, there's no there's no defences. It's a simple enough army. Um, but I might actually like to fight it. But looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the we're attacking the Ottoman Empire from the west. Cheers, everyone.